This is the... Okay, I have no idea how to start this. Anyways, as we all know, the season 14 of Ninjago Seabound ends with Nia dying. You know, sort of, it's sort of, it's basically dying. She merges with the ocean, becomes the ocean, and leaves. And I have not been too active in the actual online fandom lately, but from what I have seen, people aren't too happy about this. They don't like that Nia's gone, they want her back. I've seen people be like, oh please, Tommy, you know, writers, bring her back. And I am here to tell you today that why bringing Nia back is the worst thing that they could possibly do to her. And yeah, I did not script this at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just here. I just wanted to... Okay, this is gonna take too long. I don't have time to... <sighs> sorry. <sighs> Anyways, so why would, be, would bringing Nia back be the worst decision for the series going forward? Well, first of all, it negates any sort of stakes that the show might have. If we can, if we, we've already brought back too many characters, Nia's already died and come back once. Zane keeps doing it, Pixel's done it, Lloyd did it. You know, we've had too many characters who just die and then come back. It's not good for a show that needs to have real stakes. And it's just not interesting to bring her back. Secondly, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Sorry. I, you, you, Ben Thomar said multiple times, you can't bring her back. I don't care what sort of hubaloo you're trying to get into. You can't bring her back, I'm sorry. Next thing, um, it's incredibly selfish to want to bring Mia back. Okay, so, you know, in Buffy season five, Buffy dies, right? Like, she just dies, she's dead, it was supposed to be the end of the show. Then they bring the show back, and obviously it's called Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so they had to bring Buffy back. And her friends, you know, they assumed she was in some sort of hell dimension, so they were like, oh, let's bring Buffy back. And, you know, they do that with Willow's magic, and Buffy, who was actually in heaven, is now completely miserable. And it was a selfish choice of the Scooby Gang to bring her back. Therefore, but they didn't, obviously they get a pass because they didn't know she was in heaven. The ninja, on the other hand, know full well that Nia is super happy as the ocean. Like she is the most powerful and free she has ever been. She's over here like, yeah, she's like an actual goddess. And it would be just cruel to bring her back from that. And another thing, it just doesn't make sense for her arc, okay? Nia's whole arc, I think, personally, has been leading up to this moment, to this thing. Like, she starts out as Kai's sister, whatever. You know, gets kidnapped, gets saved. I watched the episode uh, yesterday, twice actually. Just watched the pilots. Um, but, and then she builds the identity of Samurai X in order to fight on her own. You know, she keeps getting more powerful. And then she sort of, she always seems to have these labels and identities thrust upon her. You know, it's like, nope, now you've got to be the water ninja. Nope, now you've got to be this thing. Nope, now you have to be that thing. And you know, this is evident in season six where she does not have a lot of uh, agency. And I just, don't think it would be like so she keeps going right you know she's the month's queen or whatever being the water ninja is not the water ninja the ocean I meant is this one thing that everyone it's the first thing that everyone's been telling her not to do everyone's like no we can do it till we can do something else we can find another way don't do that thing and Nia's like Nia makes the decision on her own, and she knows it's the only decision she can make. She knows full well that this is the only decision she can make. It's the only choice she has. So, obviously she makes the choice. She says goodbye 
and becomes a literal goddess. Literally, like, the most powerful character in the current canon of the series. Okay, because Wojira, the first Fujitsu master, couldn't defeat. I mean, he was a kid, but still. <laughs> and not even Niad fully defeated her. Nia over here, just, she's done, right? She killed her. Nia is canonically the most powerful character in the series. And t again, to take her back from that would be completely selfish of both the ninja and the fans. Nia's happy. Let her be happy <laughs> on her own, okay? And again, let there be stakes. And I, this was just a rant, because I keep seeing people saying they want her back. And no, no, I'm just tired of it. So I might not even post this. I don't know. If you're seeing this, please don't let them bring her back. <laughs> I'm going to be so, like, I miss her as much as anyone, OK? But I would be so bad if they bring her back. <laughs> this is going on too long. <sighs>